Now let's look at a pretty general method in simulating discrete outcomes. I will motivate this method with this uh, question using a, a dice throw and uh, gambling. You are deciding if to participate in the following gamble. This gamble consists of three consecutive die rolling. Each time a dice is cast, if the number on top is less than or equal to three, you win one dollar. If it is four, you win three dollars. But if it is either five or six, then you lose three dollars. How much would you win or lose if you decide to play this game? In other words, in this problem, we basically want to excel to simulate the expected payoff if we decide to enter this game. First of all, we need a method to simulate a die throw, right? So uh, a dice, as you can show here, has six sides, and uh, each outcome from one to six happens with equal probability. That is, that is one over six. Um, so here's how we set it up. We set up the equal probability for the six outcome. That's each one over six. However, in a reason that will be apparent in a minute, we actually set up this cumulative way of probability. So it starts with zero and uh, um, adds up one sixth of a probability each step and up to 0.833, that's 5 over 6. And uh, then we record the payoff associated with each outcome. So that's the basic setup. Now let's move to uh, the steps in simulating the outcome. First of all, we use rand function to generate a random number between 0 to 1. And uh, based on this, here's the key. We use this number and uh, go to this cumulative function and uh, uh, grab the appropriate outcome. And here's the example. So in this one, it's 0, 0.79. It will fall between 0 0.066 and 0 0.083. And uh, by the definition of VLOOKUP, it will fall to the, to the lower one. And uh, it should return a 5. Okay, now because of the fact that rand function is uh, this random number is uniformly generated, so we can use this break function to assign the appropriate interval. The result is that we could actually generate any discrete outcome as long as we know its probability. Now, of course, this happens to equal probability, so the cumulative. Uh, probability function is evenly distributed. Now let's look at w another example. 0 0.89 is actually higher than the highest cumulative number here. Because of the VLOOKUP, it will fall down to 0 0.83 and return the outcome of 6. Okay, now this is just a record the expected payoff. Now we'll let it run uh, in this simulation a thousand of times. You see, a thousand of times. And the idea is if we average the expected payoff, that's probably will be close to uh, what we should expect to get if we play this game repeatedly. So you can see that here is just average of, uh, of this uh, column. Now you can see that uh, here I let I have let it run and it will give me uh, like 18 and if you run it again it gave me uh, minus 8 cents so you can see that uh, um, this is being played out uh, pretty closely to zero the the answer is probably you will not win or lose too much if you participate in this game and uh, this is how we use Excel coupled with a rand function and VLOOKUP function to generate a discrete outcome. Again, this method is fairly general. As long as you know the number of scenarios and each probability, you can do the simulation this way.